So I have introduced the concept of the geometric effects of topography on the geometry of the radar images. So let's zoom into this, into this relief, into this, this mountain that has been constructed by one of these fabulous microwave remote sensing volumes. Because the surfaces, of course, can have different roughnesses. So let's put the book aside. And let's just think we have a flat terrain, and this flat terrain is a smooth surface. We have a smooth surface. We have our incoming radar wave. Now what happens if it is smooth, like a mirror? It's mirroring away the signals, what we call specular reflection. Now the steeper you look, so if this is causing the incidence angle, the nadir line, here is the radar incoming wave, the, the path on which the radar signals are being um, forwarded. If we have a steep incidence angle and we have a specular reflection away, we still receive some of this intensity also at the radar antenna. But the shallower the incidence angle, and we would call it the larger the incidence angle gets, and we still have a, a smooth surface, we still have specular reflection away, we will receive less and less of this transmitted power, the strength of this radar signal, the intensity of this radar signal is being scattered away from the radar antenna. So that this pixel would actually represent a very dark black pixel in the image because no, no radar intensity is being returned. So this is what's happening if you have a smooth surface. But now imagine we have the smooth surface like we had it here on this mountain and now the incidence angle is of course dependent on the slope of your topography. So if you have a smooth surface and you have a tilted slope, what is happening? You still have the same incidence angle, but now when you observe a slope, you have a perpendicular incidence angle. So you're looking directly as if this would be a nadir looking radar on this smooth surface. And you will receive almost the full amount of intensity of radar signal which has been transmitted back to the sensor. And that is the reason why such slopes facing towards the antenna always look very, very bright. So whether it is a layover phenomena or it is a foreshortening phenomena, you get so much intensity of your radar signal returned to the sensor that these areas look very, very bright. So this is what's happening when you have a smooth surface. So for a smooth surface, the local incidence angle is extremely important. You have to know the local incidence angle. Well, fortunately, many of our surfaces are not smooth. They are crinkled like you crinkle a piece of paper. They are rough. Now, what happens if you have a rough surface What's happening is diffuse reflection, diffuse backscattering. So now, depending of course on the resolution cell, on your geometric resolution, yeah, the radar signals are being scattered from all kinds of little tilted surfaces. So whether this is a gravel bed or it's a rough rock surface, or it's a rough ice or snow surface, or it's a rough water surface, this kind of Diffuse surface, diffuse roughness is causing a diffuse scattering in all directions. Which means the incidence angle becomes less important. It doesn't matter whether this surface is tilted or not, because you have diffuse scattering everywhere. So this would be the optimal situation if you want to measure something else like soil moisture. You don't want to have this influence of the incidence angle. So if you have a diffuse surface, like a rough soil surface of a, of a, a field, then the changes of the radar backscatter are only related to the moisture content. 
So this is a diffuse surface. Now for ocean surfaces, I brought another example. We may have geometries that are very regular. Yeah, so this is a, a very regular pattern of a roughness. Yeah, and from such regular patterns, what happens is that these radar waves, the wave front, hitting such a surface, and this may also represent an agricultural field that has been plowed, so you have regular roughness. What may happen is that if this distance relates to the wavelength that is being used, that also all these little tilted slopes are causing very high radar returns, which is called Bragg scattering, and you would actually detect on your radar image, ooh, there is obviously a roughness, but it is not a topography, it's not a tilted slope, but if I get so such a high radar return, it has to be related to some kind of regular roughness phenomena, whether it is a wave pattern or some agricultural practice on the ground.